Okay, today we are in a fantastic place. Well, I don't know how many of you guys know this amazing place. This is Skyrim. And this is my home. The home is called Breezone. Well, I welcome everyone for this amazing series with Skyrim. We'll be, we'll be look, looking at lots of things. We'll be looking at nice things. We're we'll going around lots of stories, lots of adventure, salmon fish. Oh, <laughs> pardon me about that. I'm just very happy to see it's just like that. It's called salmon fish. Let's get up. That's me in the king robe. I'm dressed up in fine robes. Um, look at that fantastic bead. All amazing, nice boots. Since I'm a learned man, I would like to show you something, something amazing. Let's go. Oh, why am I walking so fast? No need to run in my own house. So here we are. So these are my amazing books. Fantastic books. You know, I, I, I wish I had all the library here, but I got the best book for you on that table right there the book it's the book i've been reading recently the cabin in the woods that's the book we're going to be reading today in skyrim i will be doing a lot of things so i started i thought let's start up with staying at home and reading a book it's like a weekend i, I don't feel like doing a lot all the raw beef amazing plates and containers hmm it's already evening, so the candle's lit. My pot's cooking, keeps cooking all the time. Oh, find the fire. Okay, let me go and show you around the house before I start reading. Here we are. This is the, the table where we eat. Food seems to be still there. Oh, is that a bun? Boiled cream treat. Mmm. Bread. What's a small dream plate? Oh, who the hell's throwing? Place down. Let's do my magic. Yeah, magic. Let's go put the plate right there. If someone wants to sit in a pot, they could sit from the pot and eat. There we go. Oh, that's it. So this is my broom. I can take a broom and whip you. And if you don't listen, I have no idea. I think I must tie it up. Sorry for all. Oh, did this mate? Come on. Okay, that's all the alt wine. You can drink and cheer up. I think I must have waited and um, you know just hasn't be quiet and tidied up the house and then brought you guys in the smart community tab you know at the century this is almost around bc it's way early so this is the alchemy lab let's go around to my books you should see my books all around the place i'm, I'm just like a bookworm this is my other shelf a uh, book rack we got facts and fiction maybe i think we'll go through these books one by one uh, these stories are fantastic but today would be that book right there it's on the table for us let's go on top let me show you what we have on this is house on top okay that's the bed which i don't own sadly so actually there's a lady there's actually a lady okay, let me close this door Okay, so you know, I want to tell you something. There's a lady in this house. She worships me. I have completely forgot who the lady is. I don't know who this lady is, so I have to check who that lady is. Let me go show you who that is. Shh, don't tell you. I tell you. Is it a ice bag or a pillow? I don't care. Let me go and show you who that lady is. Okay, let's go on top. And this, look at all the nice fancy designs that Jack has made for us. That's going to be my bed. And the lady's going to sit on the right. There she is. She's okay, always sitting here. Okay. I'm a Thane? What does that mean? What does Auskal do? Follow me, you need help. Okay. I, today I'm not doing any of these. Farewell. Alright, thank you very much. What, what do you got then? Ooh, drinking have you. You drunk. Honor to you, my Thane. Thank you. I, I mean, you look amazing. I like the jawline and look at the amazing lipstick you got there. You, you love me, don't you? Potatoes and wine. I know what you're up to. Long Sweet roll. Thank you very much. Okay. 
So here we are, this is the bed which I normally can sleep on, but today I'm not going to sleep on them, food's always around the place. This is a chest where I can find things. Let me go down now and show you and read that fantastic book. It's very interesting, it's a thriller actually. It's, it's a thrilling book. So. Should I sit there and read for you, or would you want me to sit there? Okay, I'll sit at the door, anyway, it doesn't matter, so I'll sit right here. That's me. Uh, this is the book, Cabin in the Woods, so let's... I'm not going to read the entire book for you, but I'll, I'll tell you the story about what happened. Okay. Right. Cabin in the Woods, vo Volume 2. I haven't seen that. As called by Morgan Son of Morgan. I never knew there's a volume one. I have to find that book. I, I swear I never knew there's a volume. That's weird. Okay. So let me tell you what happens in this book. It's a short story. So late at night, a few months ago, a few seasons ago, there was a soldier. He was going back home after a bloody battle. Lots of blood. And lots of things so he got some gold saved and he's gonna go around to, the fo to his place through the forest right so uh said okay let's go so there he went he carried his bag it's ready for him to go he he went on this is the first day of his journey he took all the things and he started going he found a main path and then after he keep on walking faster because it was a path he wanted to go home. It's before it gets dark. No, it'll take some days but he said let's fasten up. He started walking fast. Then it started getting dark. Then he was like okay let me build my bed roll. And he built a small tent, a campfire. He cooked some rabbit he caught that day. He said to himself a fine day indeed. And he fell asleep. When he was full, when he's it was only evening, almost night, when, when they say evening, he was woken up. Something woke him up, like a soft, sobbing sound. Like, what's the sound? He was shocked, I mean, he's alone in the forest, of course. So he grabbed his sword, it was maybe a bandit or something, he grabbed his sword, and he's like, he was pretending to sleep, he was like, if anyone comes in, I'm just gonna whip them up. After a few minutes, the sobbing started more. He was like, oh shit, he must be shit scared. He's like, what's this at the middle of the night? Someone someone crying around? It's got to be so scary. So the, but then he, he slept with his one eye open. Like, oh, I don't know when someone's going to come in. And this is the second day now. He woke up. He couldn't sleep well because he was one eye. He was, woke up, he started, he packed up everything. Started walking faster and faster, faster. But wanted to take it away from the place there. Started walking faster, and by the time he walked, he walked, walked, walked it all the night. The day went so heavy; it was raining, and he said, "Okay, it's all the evening. Uh, it was crazy, but now let's go and build another shelter." It's day two, he able to set the shelter, and so it could remain dry because it was already raining. And then it took some time for him to sleep, and he was finally fell asleep. But again, you were woke up. There was a sound, sobbing sound. It was like right, very close to a shelter. He was shit scared. He grabbed his sword and crawled out of the shelter in front of, and he saw this black of a ghostly woman. It was a woman sobbing. He must have been shocked. Oh my gosh! Just imagine you get out of. Get out of your tent and then you see the woman swab sobbing. I'm like, oh gosh. Because that's what's wrong. There was no answer. He went closely. Before he could reach her, the lady turned and jumped and screamed. He was like, she raised an axe and he started chasing it. And before she came and met him, she went, she just disappeared in thin air. He. The soldier was scared to death, he started running, he ran like there was no tomorrow, he was so scared, he was like running, running and running in the middle of the night, it was early, uh, early morning, so he ran till it was morning, then the third day, it was, sun's up, 
He is never had to sleep for a long time. He is still trying to move. He wants to go get away far, far, far away. Okay, then office in the evening, when the sun was going down, it was, you saw a cabin across the road. Okay, let me go and stay there today. So I went there. He, he went really quick. He went in, before it becomes very really dark. He went and put he started blocking uh, the doors and windows. And even though he did not, he was still scared. He couldn't sleep. Even though he did that, he sat in the chair, and then. There was a bedroom there, so he was sitting there and looking at the door. He was very scared indeed because twice, who's the lady coming and following me? Then slowly he fell asleep. He was like, okay, no problem, the door's not gonna open. He fell asleep. Then he woke up again. He heard someone laughing on the other side of the door. It was just like the person who was uh, swapping, swapping last night. He was like, oh my gosh, he couldn't believe. It happened again, and he opened the door. He ran out and he started attacking her, and his aunt and he started attacking her. I mean, there was no effect. There was no lady. Nothing there. And he used a fireball scroll. Like, he threw a scream, and I mean, and boom, something exploded. And it just disappeared. He was like, "Good Lord!" The ordeal was over. The ghost was gone. Now let's continue reading from the book. The soldier step fell that night and the next day made excellent distance through the woods. As the sun began to set, he became out on the other side of the forest and looked back. Remember the days before. As he turned and started walking away from the woods, he could swear he heard the sobbing again. Oh my lord. Did you just hear what just happened? I mean, what what in the world is going on look look at this guy I'm shocked look at my face I'm shocked he, he was just there and it came back I hope no one comes here because if someone comes here I've got magic spell son let me show you my weapons okay so if I'm the best guy ever so destruction I've got the cloak um, for example if you want light, and I've got light. There, bam! Oh shit! Oh my gosh! What have I done to my door? Well, hope that I shouldn't have done that, didn't I? Well, that was a story, isn't? Wasn't it? I, I think I shouldn't. Have. Okay. So here we are outside in my amazing place. So that's my house. It's wonderful, isn't it? I'm in White Run. Um, that's where um, okay let me tell you a story okay so let me run there so this person here is a cultist I stole his clothes <laughs> don't tell anyone though um, I think most so this guy a few days ago he just came out of nowhere and started attacking the small town hey you tried mercenary work yeah hey, I'm reading long time no see but these guy always one one look at this guy Claw nice wood I work for Bellathor at the general goods store ah good to know so he, he knows I'm taking a video and I know it, it's magical at that time so he just comes to me and talks to me. So let's go look at this amazing place and look at all those. At the top there's a dragon indeed. There's a mountain right there. Right behind me. Um, Let me go and show you. Let me run down. Oh this poor lady. This is funny a lady. Maybe some other time I'll reveal your destiny, hmm? Tea leaves, palm reading, crystal scrying, ooh, maybe trepanning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this lady's so happy. Thank you very much, I'll see you later. So, this old lady is amazing, you see. Let me go around and show you this place. But, um, most of the time I come here, I, uh, I try to jump over, but I can't. See, it's it's like a it's like it's an amazing place. Look, I come here in the evening sometimes. Um, I have another house in different place. Let me go show you where I am. So currently I'm at White Run. I have another place uh, across to this place. Uh, this is my other place in Riverwood. Maybe sometime we'll go there. It's quite. It's next to a river. Um, we can we can go there some other time, son. So this is an amazing view. So I normally come here. And in the evening, get some tea, yeah, the old lady walks with me, and just enjoy the weather here. Yeah. See? 
it's a beautiful sight to see as well. Okay, so, I mean, the leaves and trees. This was life, I'm telling you. I have no idea the new technology that's going to come in the future. What are you eh. looking at? I'm not afraid of you, you know, even if you are my elder. Oh, you, you know all the kids here are kind of cocky? Cocky little kids. You want one knock on that, but I can't. The parents are going to come and teach me, but most of them, I feel very sad for them. A few of them are orphans and... I'm, I'm, you know, I, in some, any, anytime soon, I'm just going to, in the, the other house I showed you in Riverhood, I'm just go, uh, go, going to go and uh, maybe adopt one of the orphans and take care of them. Yeah, they're know? reforming the Dawn Guard. Oh. Vampire hunters or something. Oh, shit. In the old fort near Riften. Oh, damn. I might consider joining up myself. Oh, that's good. That's good. I don't want you there's, there's, they're, they're going training. Then, and the vampires. Look at this guy. There's a kid again. Wasn't you the one who ran around? Come in crooked ones. These kids, you never know. Ooh, that's that's too well, you see. Gotta be very careful. Hired um, in, in the different village there, or different town. Someone just poisoned one of the Welsh. And you it, tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Did that shit? Whoa, you guys are crazy following me. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? oh. Do your good deed for the day. Yes, thank you very much. Hope you're well with it. I'll see you later. Well, this is Whiterun, an amazing place. There is a complete book for Whiterun as well. I could go and show you. I'll read it to you later uh, as the days goes on. But this is life, you see. You go around. That's the main city center. Or you can say city center. You can call it the center of the town. I can go show you uh, the king. Maybe it would be another day. I'll show you the king another day. But look at this beautiful place. That's where the companions are. That's where the missionaries are. I can. I sometimes come here in the evening when it's um, a long day. I just sit there and relax. The sun will go down and I mean sometimes. You know there's a person always making noise in the back. So he's a priest for Talos, that guy there in the back. Hope you can see him. Right there in the back. Yeah. That guy always keeps he, he prays to Talos. So Talos was old. Oh. That's nice, you know. You know, uh White Ron is a very friendly place. People always come and speak to you. That was a good nice place. But that's the other kid again, this is Lucia. Hello, Lucia. Of course, yeah, it's a oh, gold coin. Bless your kind heart. Oh, I'm... All right, then. All right, take care of yourself now. Go buy some sweets maybe later. All right, take care. Bye-bye. See you later then. I feel sad for these kids, you see. Um, most of them are orphans and they go... Oh, gosh, this guy makes so much of noise in the back. Good lord. This guy's crazy. I'm just gonna go off of yeah, this place and I'll treat the cows up. So, we're saying most of them are often and I feel sad for them. So, yeah. Well, life goes on in this poor little village of White Run. Oh, not this guy again. Is it not the same? Whoa, why is he walking like that? I think okay with your leg, mister. Azim? Do you get to the cloud district very often? Oh, this one. What am I saying? Damn, look at the nose on that. Yeah, of course I don't. Nice beard. Nice beard. Well, it's a beautiful place and a beautiful weather and climate today at White Run. Someone's cooking something. Ah, look at that. Fancy. Okay. You know what? Let's go. I'll, we'll go and end today with a song. I mean, I hope the sing. I hope the singer's right there. A lot of interesting things to do. Uh, look at that guy, the Sarx. Well, this is a day in life. They they go out and they go on hunting. They get we could go hunting someday. They have this wood. They chop, fucking dark. So they they chop the wood, and then they build houses. They have fun. They go in the evening and drink some meat. There's always battle and war. 
people attacking each other. Yo, get away from the, get away, will ya? Get away from the guy. Oh sh! Oh yeah, there's another another guy. I just hide them there. Well, this is life. Let's go and oh, the drunk huntsman. The drunk huntsman will go there and see. Uh, there's always someone that can sing us a song. Not you. Janessa, see, she's ready for missionary work. Let's go and see. Let's find. Oh wait, is this? Okay, I'm not gonna steal from you. Nice music, isn't it? This is where the. Okay, uh, uh, um. Oh, nice books. Rising Tat, the Dream Sown God. I, th I think we'll come back and read this book in a few hours. I will likely to be dead. Ooh, this is gonna be an interesting book. So I'll come back and read this book later. Maybe we can get a room around here. Spend the night. Forge numbers. No, I don't do that. And we can read that and go around. So I'll come back here later. Uh, this is a hotel where you could go and stay. Look at that. Nice teddy bear in the back. How much, how much you say the teddy bear is in the back? Alinda, how are you doing, mate? Oh, how rude. Whoa, did you, what did you just do? Okay, I'll see you later. Well, um, that's life around here. So let's go ahead and call it a day. I thought I could end the day with the music, but in different taverns or different places, there's always people singing songs and enjoying uh, maybe it's a different location. Let's go check. I, I, I'm God just. Gave you two hands, and you use them both for your weapon. I can respect that. All right, that's praise God for that. A fantastic aunt here. This one's what's this? Face and stones here. I I know the lady. Old, old, where's she speaking from? You're that new member of the companions. Yes. So you what? Fetch the mead? How rude. Oh. How rude. Oh, there you are. Take care there. Okay, let's see. Is this. Yes, they're very proud indeed. So. These guys are too nosy, too few of them. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Oh, that's nice to know. Oh, you have one of the battle barn right there. See if anyone knows to play some music here. I want to end the day with some music. Uh, mm. Nice book. Oh, I can hear some music. Hang on, I can hear music. Oh, there is he. There you are. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm not listening. I'm just one of these uh, guys. I'm just making a day in the life. I, I was wondering if you can... Yep. Um, I think... The age of aggression. Yes. Listen, guys, it's gonna be fantastic. Kill this. An ode to staunch protectors. Yeah. The Imperials. We drink to our youth. Today's come and gone. For the age of aggression is about about done. We'll dry out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. Blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Down with Ulfric, the killer of kings. On the day of your death, we will drink and we'll sing. We're the children of Skyrim, and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. But this land is ours, and we'll see it wiped clean Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams Fantastic, Mikhail. You got the best. Perhaps you've heard of me. Yes, indeed. You see, Samir loves it. It was fantastic. Thank you very much. Parts in this city are all lazy and undisciplined. Things need to change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, most people, you know what they come in? They come in just to talk and they drink. Sadia, wake up, dear. Yes, mum. Oh, where is Adia? Um, yep, yeah, I'll just... Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. I, I am, uh, like, thirsty. Let's get a mead. Yep. Oh, ale. Yep. Ale for... Oh, I don't want seven. I'm just gonna take one ale. Ooh. I'm just gonna get... Thank you very much. I'm just gonna get some tipsy. So, items. Let's see. All... Oh, there's lots of books. Ale. 
Yep. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Unable to run. I don't need to run. If it's it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Yeah, I could actually do that, but I'm just gonna do that later on. I'll see you later. See you later, Udo. See you. Oh. Well, the, this old city is very friendly. We'll go to different cities and different places. But it wasn't that an amazing song about the Remnant God. Right, I'm just gonna go home and sleep and call it a day. Well, it's always gonna be beautiful. Yes, uh, people keep selling things around. Uh, well, oh, hello, thank you very much. How are you doing? So, everyone's so happy in this town. Uh, we'll go. To, no, there's no trouble. We're gonna go home and I'm gonna take a nap. Get away from these guys quick, you know, see? Yeah. People always behind me all the time to do something and stuff like that. Okay. So, I'm gonna go up and take a nap. It's been a long time. That ale is kicking in. And we got my sweet darling sitting here. I'm still not married to her yet. There you are, Lydia. To see, you again, my see, Lydia's fantastic. She's always on it. I'm gonna take a nap. Don't try to do something funny, okay? I'm gonna rest for three hours, and at 2:30 p.m. or 2:22, I'll be up. It's a Friday. Alright, guys. See you again.